right here. What's up, everybody? Matt Hafey from Trivium. I have not personally ever seen or been able to find a TC Electronic integrated preamp gear test video for metal. And one with like proper studio audio, this kind of thing. I put out all the feelers across the entire planet, the entire planet of all the Trivium supporters in the world, and we got two of them. We got two. My friend from Veterans Gaming found us one in the States, and Heavy Metal Tanny found us one in Europe. I traded them some good stuff. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Veterans has actually had a box, which is awesome. Here it is. This thing is the fabled pedal. We all know about overdrives in front of good amps. But what Corey has taught me lately, most metal guys crank the gain down anyway. They're essentially just clean boosting their amp. Or, sorry, their guitar. Either one. Guitar or the amp. So this is what we have all been looking for. This is the fabled integrated pre. Frederick Thorendal, one of the sickest musicians on the planet, I guess has amassed, amassed a collection of all of these worldwide. So I managed to find two before he found them. I'm trying to free the integrated pre's from Frederick from Meshuggah. Let's free the TC pre from Frederick Thorendal. Is that going to be a hashtag? Probably. And he's going to be like, why is this guy saying this? I don't know. So I've got two. They're both the same. They probably both sound different because old vintage gear usually sounds different in each one. So I've got one plugged in. The one I have plugged in right now is the one from Tanny. If you are trying to find these or if you do find these, they use the weirdest power I've ever seen in my life. I was super excited when these showed up from Europe and I said, what the hell is this power? This power is a 3.5 millimeter mini jack. This pedal can run anywhere from six volts to 32 volts. If you run it with a nine volt battery, it sounds terrible. It's like it's not powered enough. So right now I have it running 18 volt. That's the best I could find. I had to find an 18 volt Dunlop adapter, DC adapter, charger. And then I had to get a thing that converts from the normal pedal power they're used to seeing into 3.5 millimeter. It was, it was a lot of work. Let's see how it sounds. We're gonna go MKH with Fishman's and Evertune into on and off versions of the six band MXR EQ on and off. Integrated pre, Boss NS2, 5150 block, Redback 150, two SM57s for a fake stereo into Logic with a high and low cut on the guitar and that's it. So let's see. These things are so hard to find and they're now so overpriced in the used market that I had to dig for a while. And thankfully, all of our friends worldwide pulled together and got us two. Corey has yet to be able to find even one. He found a different version that's the line booster something. It has a gate and overdrive built in. I'm going to mute my voice. Uh, this is the first time I've tried this. I just made sure it worked yesterday. So I'm going to go in and out of muting my voice and let's check this out. So that is the TC on. There is no on and off switch. I don't know if I just unplug it to make it bypass. I'm worried if I do that, I'm going to blow your ears out. Uh, I guess someone can probably let me know in the chat. This is treble at negative two, bass at negative 10, and volume at seven. I am still hearing that attack that we were hearing when it's just an eyeball, that kind of like slamming, almost nine inch nailsy, super compressed bit crusher thing. I wonder if that means it needs a 32 volt. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna play around with, you'll hear treble, you'll hear bass, you'll hear volume. Um, and I don't know if I just unplug it. If I see it in the chat, I will do that. <laughs>
I'm gonna try to just unplug it and see if that turns it off so you can hit the 5150 without it. I'm a little afraid though. Let's see. Or maybe I'll just go straight into the head and then I'll plug it all back in. Let's do that. I don't wanna blow this thing out. So what you're about to hear is the 5150 block by itself. Then I'm gonna switch it over to having with the pre in the front and I'll mess with the pre a little bit more because you've just heard the pre and you don't know what the 5150 sounds like by itself. So this is treble at negative 10, bass at negative 10, volume at 8. I think it sounds fantastic. So what you heard first, 5150s don't sound good by themselves for modern metal, in my humble opinion. But what they do do is when you have the rest of the stuff going correctly in the front, it's incredible. <laughs> This is negative four-ish, negative 10, and seven. It's interesting, it's, it's a little bit different. <laughs> Anytime I turn the bass or the treble up is when we get that blasting sound. Um, I do see people mentioning more bottom end. Typically, what you're thinking of as a heavy bassy guitar tone, guitars actually sound much better with the low end low. I know that seems insane. I'm like, well, what about like that kind of like your memory of like the sad but true guitar tone? That's actually not much gain or much bass, or even the Meshuggah tone. The Meshuggah tone is pretty rolled back off low end, and that's what makes it so tight. It creates room for the bass spectrum. <laughs> Let's test the other one. Let's see if there's any difference in the two pedals in the same settings.
Just as I suspected, they both sound completely different from each other, which is what usually happens with vintage gear. So let's check this out. I don't know what that slamming sound is. I don't know if it's because it's such a hot output or if it needs the 32 volts. Not sure. Sounds like a wah. So this is what the tone is doing to the tone. It sounds like that slamming is when it's hitting the front input so hard. This is the volume at 10 and all the EQs at zero. And that was the noise gate off. Noise gate's back on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, this sounds very, very good, in my opinion. Um, this is negative 4 in the treble, negative 10 on the bass, and an 8, probably 8.1 on the volume. This is the 6-band EQ off. Let's see what the 6-band EQ sounds like on. All that is doing is a very slight cut at 400, a slight boost at 800, a slight higher boost than that at 1.5, and a slight cut at 3.5. Let's check that out. Damn, that sounds good. That is six band EQ on with the slight 1.6 cut turn or boost turned down, negative four, negative 10, and seven. But it's a little bit low on the output now for me. What do you think? little low because my gain is only at three on the head. Thank you. 
sounds really good to me. I don't know what everyone else thinks, but that's the EQ on. That's negative four, negative 10, and just slightly under eight, like super, super slight. Sounds really good. This is, again, TC Electronic Integrated Pre. Doesn't exist anymore. I had to search the entirety of the Trivium fan base. I'm not going to tell veterans or Tanny if it's their pedal that is this one. Both of your pedals are amazing, and they both made this happen, so it could be either one of yours. Let's say it's both. What I need to find out now, I need to find a 32-volt DC adapter. I'll run that into this and see if that fixed that little bit of stuff. Fixes that little bit of stuff. That was me testing the TC integrated pre. I have never seen a proper metal video on this with, like, true direct in. So thank you so much to Veterans Gaming and Tanny for helping me find this. And they both sound totally different. So if anyone wants to send me any more, I will send you stuff for the other ones. Subscribe now. <laughs>